We recently told you about a Christmas tree recycling program in Marion County that delivers live trees to people's homes and then after the holidays picks them up and replants them in one of the county parks. Well, there's one recycling program that's been going on for even longer. It's a partnership between the DEP and the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources that takes used Christmas trees and turns them into fish habitat. The DEP's Terry Fletcher has the details. It's 15 degrees and windy in the most popular spot on this January afternoon at the annual Christmas tree drop-off at Charleston's Capital Market is close to the space heater. Despite the cold, the turnout is steady. The turnout has been wonderful. We've had so far today um, about 250 people come through and uh, we've collected um, a little over 600 trees, which is a fantastic turnout for as cold as it is today. So we're very pleased. From an environmental perspective, the tree collection serves two purposes. It helps keep the trees from taking up valuable space in a landfill, but when placed in a lake to serve as fish attractors, it's a completely different story. Well, these trees are going to be headed to about a half a dozen reservoirs across the state, uh, every place from Beach Fork and East Lynn up to Tigard and Stonewall Jackson, and they'll be used for, uh, for fish attracting structures in those reservoirs. The fish like to orient themselves to anything that supplies some cover. So these supply in the summertime shade and also places where other fish um, might come and feed and then the game fish will come and feed on those smaller fish. So all in all, it's a great place for fish and for anglers as well. Fast forward to a few weeks later and about 30 degrees warmer and crews are hard at work placing the trees. Here at Beach Fork, they're being added along the shoreline in areas where trees were placed in previous years. Most of these reservoirs in the state are used for flood control and uh, the Corps would like to keep them nice and open and the spillway open so uh, there aren't any obstructions and they don't have any problems with that. So there's not a lot of fish habitat out in these reservoirs. They're kind of like bathtubs. So uh, by adding these Christmas trees and by cutting trees along the shoreline, we're adding um, habitat, actually just attractors when they're just one or two, but when you group a whole lot of them, it actually changes the habitat and improves it. The work is done while the lakes are drawn down to their winter pool levels, making it easier for crews to more accurately place and anchor the trees. Because the trees decay over time, they must be replaced periodically to remain effective as fish attractors. The lifespan is relatively short. Uh, there have been studies done looking at various types of added fish attractors from plastic to Christmas trees and these really last the least amount of time. Um, but it's very cost effective, they're easy to get, um, we've got blocks donated from, uh, from places so altogether it's real easy and simple even though it doesn't last quite as long. It's maybe one to three years I'd say. Uh, one of the big things that's, or one of the big issues is just how it's inundated with water and then it's dry for a little bit of time and then the same over and over again. So when it dries out, that's kind of one of the things that speeds up the, the um, decay of the tree. When the lakes are brought back to their summer pools, this will all be under 10 to 20 feet of water. The DNR also placed some of the tree bundles in deeper water using a boat. It's very effective. Uh, um, I hear from anglers all the time and it's something that I've been talking with the core a lot. Uh, another thing we like to do here are just cutting trees along the shoreline and as I mentioned because of it's like a bathtub in a lot of these reservoirs all the fish really congregate around these places they really use them a whole lot so and it also gives an angler something to target when they know where that is uh, and uh, these lakes and reservoirs are really hit a lot there are lots of tournaments so it gives them something to target when they're out here and uh, their fishing uh, success improves. The DNR has been seeking trees in the lakes for more than 30 years this is the 14th year for their partnership with the DEP. In Wayne County, I'm Terry Fletcher for Environment Matters.